We ventured to the far north. To the great state of North Dakota. <laughs> to Happy Harry's Bottle Shop. This place is massive. I'm excited to go see what they got. Me too. Hopefully they have some fun stuff. Because it was a long drive. It's a great place. It also has a movie after it's. <laughs> yes, so I remember that. Stone store pick. Mm. Elijah Craig. Far and away. They have a double oaked. We have one of them. Oh. Not from here. Yeah. Oh, this year too. Oh, look at that. Happy Year's Bottle Shop. That's an interesting what? What is that? Saunterna. Saunter. Did you ever get any of those yet? No. Oh, dang. Some guy was at Seven Eights. And he bought one. So I asked him, like, what he thought of it. He said, they're really good. Really? No. Well, might have to do it here. Mm -hmm. Oh, we've got a cool little uh, old forester. That's cool. This one. Gift bag hidden inside. Finished in cognac. Cognac Very interesting. That's a nice bottle for 62. Yep. It's not bad. Bunch of uh, Jack. I love how their shelves are lit from underneath. Yeah. So everything's just super bright. That's cool. Somebody commented in one of the uh, last videos, since it was you, you picked up the dough ball. Because mm -hmm. you love cookies. <laughs> so you leave it, it was like, leave it to a, a girl to pick out the uh, cookie dough one. Yeah. These ones look good to me as well. Like it sounds good. I just don't like super sweet. So that's where right. I think some of these, like if it was just like a hint of something, I think it would be good. But I like the flavor and the complexity of the bourbon itself. You know what I mean? Right. This is, this is cool. Mm -hmm. I mean, these two obviously. Winners. Are amazing. This one's good. It's just, I prefer. I wonder why they don't have the other one in there. It's just those three. Yeah, I don't know. Classic. Four Roses collection. Mm. This one might be a play. Yeah. Store pick double oaks are always cool. Dang it, I even remember. Do we have the Nashville one or two? Can you see it on anything? Like. Yeah, I'll take a look. <gasps> Literally the best. We have a couple of those. I think so. Good old wild turkey rare breed. Mmm. Mm. Look at. There it is. These are not bad. Look at this. It's not bad. Is this a store pick or what is this one? Yeah, it's a store oh, pick. This one was up there. Huh? Yeah. It's not a bad oh. price. Oh, what's this one? This one's an interesting. Spiced rum. Weird. Oh, and they do a white room too. Wow. Interessante. So this could be cool because this is a rye finished in these oh. casks, which I'm not sure what that is. I'm not either. But maybe we'll have to look it up. 
course, they've got the old granddad. It's and a wine cask. Oh. The old smokies. And he's got it down here. So it's a sub-region of the Bordeaux wine growing area. Interesting. Hmm. Look at all your dickle. What are these? Look at this. Have you seen this before? We have this one. Do we? Oh, we need to get this one. This is such a cool, like... We got this one when we were in North Carolina. Oh, did we? But this is the one we gotta get. Okay. People are talking about that guy. Let's get this one. Soft red wheat. I love the, uh, the bottle is so, like, nostalgic and yeah. classic. Like, so cool. Distilled in the spring of 2017. 100 proof. I love it. Six years old. It'll work. That's a cool one. Soft red wheat is where it's at. At least that's what everybody says, and we're going to find out ourselves. We'll come to our own conclusion. We will. As should you. On continues at Happy Harry's second location, or maybe it's not. Maybe it's, this is their first location, but it's another location. This is a cool bottle. This is a cool bottle. I've seen that. I saw that at the last one, too. Horse of Soldier, forged in fire. This one's a barrel strength. This one's a small batch, straight bourbon. Filtered. 87 proof, 95 proof, 117.2 proof. This one's calling my name. Is it? No? Bunch of the far north stuff. Cognac cask. Mm. Rye. Straight rye. And the bourbon. I wonder how good that is. We got the, what one did we get in Wisconsin? Oh, gosh, I is don't. Is the Cabernet in your? Oh, maybe. Oh, no, it's Armagnac. Oh, yeah. Armagnac finish. Here's the Whittle Jane Applewood Rye again. Mm -hmm. Paradigm Rye. I don't know what that one's about. All the garrisons. Yeah, they have good. good no worries. Oh, nice. Single barrel select. That's not a bad price either. Mm -mm. 42. this? Jacob's Wine. That's what we saw that at, uh, what should we call it? Spirits. Oh. Knob Creek 12. What is the jam? Oh yeah, 195. What was it there? 189. So pretty close. Oh, here's the... <laughs> I had a look at that. I was just watching the video too. Did you see it or no? I didn't get to that part. Thomas Moore in Chardonnay casks, and then Merlot. Ooh. Merlot is such a dark, rich yeah. red wine. It's pretty burnt, huh? Oh, yeah. That's just a regular same one. Not the cask strength like we've got, which is better. Yeah. They've got a 
Jefferson single barrel. Ooh. Happy. Scary. Barrel dovetail. Barrel bourbon gold label. Nice, lots of tequila. Mm -hmm. Lots of scotches in there. Good stuff. Indeed. Another very large store with a lot of wine. The bourbon selection, I would like to see it beefed up. Like yeah. Experience had a way better yeah. selection than even a giant store like this. I mean, this. They, what they have is decent stuff. Like, yeah. they have decent choices here. It's not. And they have stuff that we're not finding in right. Minnesota. So. Right. I love all the gift sets. Yeah. Look at that buff tea basket over there. Where? Happy Harry's Buffalo Trace basket. Oh, that's cool. It comes with glasses. That's pretty neat. Or you can get the bourbon cream. Ah. We've got a ton of really cool gift sets. Me too. I'm glad we walked over here. Wow. These are nice. What's this? So this is, and these are things that are distilled in Fargo. Oh, that's cool. So you've cool. got. A vodka, a gin, a bourbon, and a malt whiskey. Wow. That's pretty neat. They have little cocktail recipes listed here. All the picks. It comes in at 119 proof. This is the one he was talking about over there. This copper and cask, seven year. Mm. And he said they had one last year that was eight, and it was phenomenal. Like, and, and he said that he hasn't tried this one, but the owner said it's just as good. Crazy. Yeah. So that, that might be a cool one for 60 bucks. It's not too bad. So yeah, super cool one here. This is the second. Happy Harry's we've stopped at. And they are uh, big shops with a lot of stuff to see. Thank you so much for tuning in to this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we will see you in the next one. Peace.